What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Detroit Red Wings. We're getting up towards the draft and I just wanted to stop here at the player retirements as I was simming. So we, Jerome McGinley did retire, Franzen retired, and Drew Miller also retired for us. And we'll check out the rest of the league right now. And I keep going the wrong way when I'm doing that. I'm used to Winnipeg going to the right. Alright, so oh, Yager indeed retired. Sometimes he doesn't retire in the first year. It's hilarious. And he's playing until he's like 30, uh, no, like 47. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. But he did retire. Hosa, Eliash, Sedin, Don, Datsuk, Savard, Pronger. <laughs> Pronger. Um, all right, we'll just scroll through this. You guys can pause it on anything that you want to see. But that's pretty much, I think, the big names right there. Pretty much a lot of the same people you see retiring in the first year. All right, so that's pretty much it. How about any goalies? I don't know if any goalies would retire this year. There might be a couple. No? Okay, apparently not. No goalies retire. None of them, ever. Interesting. All right, so there you have it for retired players. And we could get into this draft now. All right, and we have actually pretty decent picks. The uh, We have, let's see. I think it's the 8th, 11th, and 12th for this. So we can still trade up, and then we also have that later pick, but I was, that was the uh, lottery positions. 8th, I think, yeah, 8th, 11th, and 12th. I'll, I'll, we'll check right now. Um, we're going to see if we want to trade up or stuff. So we're going to check this right now and get into this, all right? Come on now. All right, yeah, so I'm thinking one of these guys, I want to try to get it from, from someone who wants it. Yeah, we have the 8th pick, the 11th, and the 12th, and then... One pick back here, the 25th. Now, I'd like to try to trade, package that 25th in with, like, Nielsen and try to get one of these higher picks, all right? So, let's see. Does L.A. want to give theirs up? Let's see if L.A. wants to give up the second overall. First overall is going to be difficult because they do. They actually want to. Okay, this is actually freaking perfect. They want to give it up. So, that's actually the best start we could have. Okay, well, should I check Columbus? I doubt Columbus will want to give it up. Oh, yeah. And the, the trade screen on this during the draft takes for some reason a while there there's a lot of like glitches and stuff like that let me all right we, so we know la wants to give it up let's just see if columbus wants to give up their first overall i doubt it that, what the hell they do okay hold on hold on then they actually do okay well might as well go for the first overall okay let's see tatar no 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 oh they actually oh my goodness they want nielsen good okay put him in it's gonna yeah see these freaking white screens all right, put him in and then trade that later pick as well. Give him the first. Or maybe we could get away with giving him a second. Never know. Let's see. If we can get away with giving him a second, then I'll do that. But I don't know if they even want picks, which might be difficult. Oh, my goodness. This takes a while. That's why there's one of the bad. No, yeah, we don't even have a second. So let's throw in that Ottawa one. They don't want it, but it should easily push that over the limit. Um, Actually, a bit close on the value. So it might have to be just like this, yeah. Nielsen and this uh, later fir uh, first for this first overall. Let's see, will this go through? Yes, it did. All right, so there we go. I know some people are going to not like that for the morale, but you know what? We just got a first overall pick. This is the, our big draft year. Everything after this, we're going to be trading for, you know, if anything, for young players. I don't think we need to trade for any more picks. This is our big draft year right here. All right, so let's... Go ahead and start making picks here. We got the first overall. That's amazing. I did not think they were going to want to give it away, but they wanted to give it away. So, And they, wow, they wanted Nielsen too. So very interesting. It's, see, like, I, that. the reason that trade went through was because they actually wanted to give that up, man. If they didn't want to give that up, um, that would be very hard to go through. Okay. Now, interesting. I would say... Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking at defensemen. I know we need defensive prospects, but we have, there's plenty of defensemen if you look here. See, like this guy, he's guaranteed to be elite. We could easily get this guy with our eighth pick, I believe. The way, the way it's listed right here, it looks like we can get this guy with our eighth pick. So if we could bank on that, I, 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 I think we can get him with our eighth pick. All right, we can get a, because all the best players right here, top five, all forwards besides this guy, but... I don't know. He's it's not scouted too well. I'd rather get this guy, um, this Nick Patrick guy. We have him relatively well scouted. 
Let's see what he's at. And we could bank on getting that defensive prospect. I know we want to focus on defensive, and pro defensive prospects. I'm not forgetting that. Holy crap, this guy is... Oh, wow, this guy looks like he's going to be freaking golden. Yeah, no, I, I got to pick this guy. I know it's an offensive prospect, but I think we do need another good center to be like a number one or a number two behind Larkin. And since we just did just trade Nielsen, I, I don't even know if we have that many centers coming up. I think, I think we need to go for this guy and then bank on this guy being here eighth. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to get this guy. Let's see what he turns out to be. Good. <laughs> Elite. There we go. All right. So, all right. Now is a bit of a gamble to do that. But at the same time, well, no, no, no. I don't want to trade this. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I tried to go to make the pick. I forgot you have to sim up to the pick. My bad. My bad. All right. Sim to user pick. Please be here. Please be here. Please be here. Please be here. Oh, this is a risk. I know. I know. I know. I think he's there. I think he's there. Come on. Come on, foot. Come on. You're there. I know you're there. Come on. <laughs> this freaking... Yes, he's there. I see him. Do it if it, I see him. All right, we're picking him up. No questions. No questions. We're getting this guy. Yeah, because we know he's guaranteed to be elite. We don't know about this guy, so we're going to pick foot. Yep, we're getting him. Make pick. There we go. Uh, red elite, but still elite nonetheless. All right, so... See this little grin? That guy might have been better to get... Uh... Oh, wow, I'm very glad we didn't get that guy. Like, that was a... Oh, man, the bust. I'm so glad. Look at that. Look at those. Those are two busts right there for as high as they are. And they just made that pick. Okay, now our next pick is 11th and 12th. So let's look for more defensive prospects. And that, yeah, that'll be good. If anything, we will look for a goalie prospect. I know we don't need one, but the thing is, I'm looking at assets, tradable assets. So if we can't get a really good defenseman, we could always... Um, you know, pick someone else and then do a kind of a draft and trade type thing. I've never been quite a huge fan of that. It can be difficult to make go through, especially if people don't want to give away their prospects, but it's, it's always an option. See right here, there's n like really no defenseman around here. Um, so it could be a little difficult. Like there's some, but we have another pick right after this. So Valamaki, I don't... If it's high and he's listed to be 7D, I don't have a lot of faith in that. These two... Wow, it doesn't look like there's... Ugh. You know, maybe I'll get him just to try it. Well, I'm lucky, I don't know. But right wing playmaker, we don't need forwards. You know what? I'm going to grab this guy for the sole purpose of being having another tradable asset or another goalie um, option, basically. So I want to have options. I know we need defensemen. We could we have another pick. I'll try. I'll probably pick up that Valamaki guy. But for right now, let's get this Lukanen guy just just to see what he is. I want to see how good this guy is. Starter. There we go. Okay, solid. Now, that's that's actually solid trade value, that'll be on it. Not elite, but it's solid trade value. Now, we can do with this 12th pick. Pick up. Uh, what's his name? The, uh, that Valamaki guy. I'm a little, I'm a little hesitant. Ugh. I am a bit hesitant about picking him up. Let's just see what he is. Let's just see what his stats are. He's 18, so it looks like it. Yeah. I don't know. A lot higher. Mm. I'm really not thinking this guy will get any good. By just looking at him, he just doesn't look like he'll get that good. I'm a little, I'm a little iffy on that. Same thing with this guy. I don't think it doesn't look like either of them will get really good. But we kind of we need defensive prospects. You know, I'm gonna pick him up because we just need def we need options. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see what this guy is. Could be a risk. He might not turn out to be anything good, which will kind of suck. But at the same time, top six, yeah. Well, he might be able to get top four with yellow potential. But yeah, not the strongest pick, but it was a risk. That's that's weird. And do we have any other picks in this? Oh yeah, no, we traded. All right, that's fine. All right, let's move on and start picking up some more guys here. Yeah, that happens. Uh, it's a bit of a bust pick, but we don't know. I mean, we're looking at that's what it says he is. I've I've seen weird stuff happen with uh, guys. Like I drafted um, in one of my off-screen ones. I drafted a guy in the first round in like the top five, and it said it was a right-wing sniper. And I drafted him and said top nine. I was like, oh shit, dude, that guy's a total bust. Then I looked at his trade value. It was like filled up almost halfway. 
it was crazy. And he turned out to be like a solid, like a super solid second slash first liner. He came out to be like an 88, 87 overall. So I don't know if I just developed him really well or if that was a bit of a glitch. But anyway, let's keep picking here. I know we didn't have any second or third round. So this is going to be some depth guys we're looking for now. But that's fine. I'll probably pick up some defensemen. Exact. No, no, no. Uh, defensive defensemen, AHL top four. Probably won't be much. He has high, high interest and stuff. So we'll, pick, we'll make that pick, see what he is. AHL top two, so perhaps depth in the future. Uh, some user pick. Keep going here. See if there's anyone else. It didn't seem very strong for defensemen in this draft, very interestingly. All right. Come on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, there's like no defensemen around here. Some league interest. I want to go for... Some league interest. That might be the best. Two-way forward with some league interest, yeah. Coral Uke. Mm. Ugh. You know, I'm just gonna... You know, no. We'll go. We'll try it. Let's, let's see what this guy is. Uh, 70. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Alright. That's kind of what you're looking for out of a late round pick. Guy who could be depth for you. Decent. Plus, yellow potentially could develop relatively quickly. Bottom six, nice. Pretty good for the sixth round. All right. Man, this loading screen takes a while. Holy, there we go. Playmaker, don't think so. Well, actually, high league interest. Now, I'm actually going to take a chance and see what the hell is going on with this. High league interest. See what he is. Top nine. Not bottom six, okay. So, <laughs> not what we were looking for, but that was weird, the high league interest. I was kind of interested in that. Oh, that. oh, yeah, I forgot we have the six, too. All right, now we can pick up another one. We'll get some kind of a depth style player here. Da, 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 da. No league interests. I kind of want to look for AHL top two exact, so... Hmm. Yeah, we'll pick him up. Why not? We know he's going to be HL top two, so we at least know what he's what he's capable of. And, you know, those guys can potentially be a top six depth type stuff. So, always, always, always okay to have those guys. It's not, like, ideal if you're... But, I mean, we... Just extra bodies, man, to throw in if injuries happen. You know, a guy maybe gets to 80 overall. That's kind of what you're looking for. All right, now how about this? Anyone with decent league interest here? That's the main thing I like to look for, especially in the later rounds, is how's their league interest? See, now this one, it's high league interest, but he's another playmaker. Like, I doubt he'll turn into be anything. But this guy has no league interest, so you might as well get the guy with high league interest just because he might have more value on him. You could at least trade him. So we'll do that. HL, yeah, never mind. HL top six, so yeah. AHLer. So, yeah, it didn't have much value, but that's fine. You're not going to get too much here in the end. So, that takes care of the draft for us. Now, we're going to check out what these guys are capable of in the contract. Yeah, we got that Nick Patrick guy. We got the foot. I'm loving We got Patrick and foot. That's huge. And the Lukanen guy is also huge. He's going to have some good trade value. Valimaki, bit of a disappointment, but the first three picks we got were freaking outstanding. Uh, Valimaki could still, I'm like I said, if, if it... He, if we develop him properly, he could be a solid top four. So I know it says he's going to be top six, but like I said, being drafted that high, I'm almost thinking maybe that's not completely correct, but whatever. We'll see here. All right, yeah, let's get into the contracts. I don't know if we have much to re-sign. We might. Um, yeah, we do. Cocking and a few other guys, yeah. So we have a, we have a bit to resign. I don't, don't want to forget about goalies. Oh, I can't click on there from there. All right, gotta go to this screen apparently. 
All right, we'll try to get this re-sign stage done in this video as well as checking out the free agent pool so that we can address that in the next video. All right, so Tatar, I saw that. We got to sign him. We got to sign a few people here, but we have plenty of money. Plenty of money. All right, first of all, oh, wow. I saw him. I saw him immediately. Wow. Yup. <laughs> 71 overall at 18. And wow. Yeah, he, and he's going to be playing the June dude. I think by next year, he'll be ready for the AHL. I, I'm going to say by next year, he'll be ready for the AHL. That's pretty incredible. I'm actually going to sign that guy immediately just to give him a morale boost if that even does give him a morale boost. Whatever. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Gain morale. So that'll actually help him. Oh, wait. That was, that, was that someone else who gained morale? Whatever. I don't know. Uh, Tatar. We got to sign Tatar. All right. So 87. This is last year to grow. I think we're going to. This is going to be a guy we're going to stick with. He wants three years. If I give him more. Yeah, he's, ooh, he's sticking around, so he's going to be pretty elite. So, um, I want to see, con let's go to sort by overall now, contract-wise. Stone's got one year left. Larkin's got one year left. So, I almost want to sign this guy just to one year, but I know he won't like something like that. So, maybe we start the, uh, how about the Kaiser? One, two, three, four, five, five years? Yeah, I think we're going to plan on sticking with Tatar. I can get him five years. It kind of goes, eh, whatever. We're not strapped for cash, so... Five years for probably, I might be able to get him for 5.75 for five years, and that'll be really good for a player like that. I don't know. We'll try that, and we'll see how he likes that. Uh, Smith, don't know. Um, hold off on that. Uh, Anthanasiu, did I pronounce that right? I'm pretty sure I did that time. I read all your, I saw that. I saw everyone there. Thank you. I'm pretty stupid when it comes to pronouncing names. Um... Fourth line, potential to be top nine. He's young, so maybe I want to sign him to a couple years. It doesn't matter, actually. I'll just sign him, yeah. Just sign him to one year at a time, I guess, because the depth guy. One year, one mil. Uh, Kindle, maybe want... Yuriko, definitely want to sign. Oh, cool. I'll, I'll give him three years. Oh, perfect. He actually wants a two-way. Three years. Um... And that'll take him up to the one he's completely done growing. So, all right, we're, we'll test. We'll see how this guy um, develops and turns out. Vitaly. Don't want this guy. No. Nope. <laughs> Looking at those defensive stats, nope. Sorry. You're not, you're not fit. Now this guy's Smith. I think, yeah, for him. Top six guy. Well, actually, hold on. Let me, let me see what we were looking at for defense. Oh. oh, wow, Sir Wow, Sergachev is NHL ready. <laughs> Hello. Beautiful. All right, 83 overall. So we got to Kaiser, Sergachev. Hmm. One, two. Yeah, I think we're going to have to sign these two guys, yeah. I mean, we can always look in free agency, but better to have these guys one year only, though. 1.850 should get him. And Kindle as well for one year. One year for 1.350, maybe. Might be able to get him for that. Uh, Wallet, definitely. Um, this guy, can I give him a two-way? Yes, he wants a two-way, good. Two-way, three years, there we go. Uh, Sproul we got for one more year. Russo, top six, sign him. We can give him three years. Hopefully he wants the two-way for three years. He does, but he wants a bit more money for it. Understandable. Here we go. That'll take him up to the when he's done growing, so we'll know what he uh, is capable of. Lash off. Only one year, so I'll give him a one-year two-way deal. Yep, and see what he turns out to be. Uh, Jensen, HL top two. Oh, I doubt. No, 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 no. He's already, He's only 69. No, no, no. Release. He's, got, he's done. He's not getting anywhere. Uh, that's it for defensemen. For now, I do want to. Yeah, don't don't ever forget goalies. I've forgotten goalies so many times. It's so embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> freaking Howard. Uh, I, I almost want to buy him out just <laughs> just because I feel so bad for him. Ah, uh, Mrazek needs to get better. He didn't jump up, so 86. That's starting to look a little bad. I'm hoping he's. I'm, well, we need we need to put a better team in front of him this year if if, he, if we want him to get better. I think. I'm not sure though. Okay, this guy. Someone was saying to hold on to this guy. I will, because he can get to 82 or something. I don't know, though. 20 years old. I have to play him in the AHL. 
Whatever, we'll sign him. All right, we'll just sign him because we can. There we go. Um, Pasquale. Seven, eight, nope. All right, we'll just, we'll release Pasquale. Uh, Poulin. Okay, so he didn't, he got up to 77, that's it. So experiment sort of failed. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll release that. Uh, Kakinen, we want, yeah, we'll, we'll sign him. He's going to be our AHL starter for sure. And we'll get him for three years at a two-way deal. Now, that could actually be very beneficial for us. If he gets up to like a backup potential after this year, we have two years on him for cheap. That's really good. So we'll do that. Poulin, yeah. I'll just release him. Watch me release him, and then he like jumps up in the... <laughs> in the whatchamacallit. Um, unrestricted free agency pool. All right, let's check out forwards now. Larkin, Stone, Tatar. Yeah, Larkin's, I think, ready for first line time. 87 now. He's still listed to be second line, but we're just going to put him in that first line. I think we just have to at this point. All right, Larkin, Stone, Tatar. That's our first line. We have no second line. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This guy's going to be listed as still fourth line, interestingly, but that could change. Those guys have all been offered contracts. Uh, street guy, nope. That Callahan guy, maybe. 25, two years. We'll give him two years. Take him up till he start till he stops growing completely. And I know it says potential only be AHL top six, but could be a fourth line guy that we bring up. And again, perhaps depth. So we'll sign him till he's done growing. Ferk. Uh AHL top six for a snipe. I don't think this guy's gonna be anything, to be honest. I really don't. So I'm I'm actually kind of not wanting to see. Yeah, I'm not gonna sign him. Sorry. Not gonna sign him. I know we can technically afford it, but I mean, it's just kind of we'll he'll just take up a spot of someone else. All right, this guy, yeah, we're, we'll want to play this guy. He needs to get better though. Oops. Yeah, that's as low as we can go apparently. Hopefully, it gets better. Uh, Anderson, nope. Bye bye. Who else? Who else now? Uh. Marsh, HL top six, 19. Adam Marsh. I feel like this guy was good in previous years. I, I don't know. I recognize him for some reason. Maybe I'm just tripping. Um, I don't really think this guy's going to turn out to be anything. 19. Yeah, no, I'm just, nope. Bye. You're gone. All right, now let's sim a day and see why we have to work. I pretty much did all the signing right there. That was... I usually don't do that. I kind of skip days and see what we have to work with. But I'm not I'm not really afraid of, like, salary issues. I mean, there's no way we're going to go on over budget or anything like that. So it doesn't matter too much. So let's advance a day. See if anyone doesn't re-sign. Hopefully they all re-sign. Got Wallet. Got Tatar. Yurko. Uh, yeah, Anthanasiu rejected. Smith rejected. Interesting. Callahan accepted. Lash off. Russo. Kindle. All right. We got him. He accepted. All right, most of the people accepted. Just a couple of holdouts. I, I just think I tried to undercut them a bit too much, so we'll give them closer to what they want. All right, he was a defenseman, and yeah, we'll just go by all skaters. I don't think there was a goalie, but I'll double check goalies. Yeah, I'm gonna see you. Yeah, we'll just give him straight up what he wants. Actually, give him a little more. Sorry for wasting your time. Um, yeah, one year for 1.3, we'll do that. Smith as well. One year. Just to give him... T yeah, we'll do that. And I think that was it for skaters. Yep, alright, let's check out any goalies. Nope, oh, alright, they're all settled. I think we should sign a backup in the free agency. Lucan in. Yeah, he's going to play. Caro. Wait a sec, Caro. We still have Caro. He's. Yeah, starter, backup. This guy will just be scratched, I guess. That guy's juniors. Howard. <laughs> we got to get this guy out of here. I might just buy him out, to be honest. Two years left on that deal. No one's going to want him. How do I buy him out? I don't think I could do it from here. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. All right, let's just advance a day. 
Maybe I'll just pay him off, pay off the rest of his goddamn deal. Keep him up. Scratch him or something. Come on. Give me that, guys. There you go. What the hell, Smith? More money. What the hell? This guy trying to be... What? I understand. I kind of understand where he's coming from. <laughs> I don't think this team has what it takes to win. Shut up. You just wait. You want to be on this team. You just wait. You'll want to be on this team in like a year or two. Uh, where is he now? There he is. You're, you're getting on this team, buddy. Sorry. There you go. That's all I'm giving you, man. If he doesn't want this, I'll sign someone else in free agency. I like his defensive stats. His defensive stats are pretty decent. That's why I'm kind of going after him. But if he doesn't sign for this, then I'm just going <laughs> to screw him. Just going to release him. I'm like, fine. Test your luck in free agency, buddy. All right, you got it. Jimmy Howard gained some morale. There you go. All right, so one more just look. But I think that was it. All right, just make sure I think everyone's good. Yep, should I sign that foot guy too? We don't necessarily need to. 60, no, I won't because he'll take a bit longer to develop, so I won't sign him immediately. Uh, there we go, okay. That's it for skaters, goalies, I think. Yep, that's it. Okay, so we're all set. Let's sit up to normal free agency, and we'll see what's available. You guys can weigh in on whether or not we should sign anyone. But we basically need like an entire second line almost. We definitely, we're going to need another center. So we should look for for guys that we could, or or we can make some trades, of course. We could always, yeah, check out trades and stuff. Because we do have a lot of excess a assets. And definitely a lot of prospects and things like that. But this is going to be maybe an, another tank year. We're not quite ready. But I think by next year, um, we'll be playoff ready. Cool story. All right, so let's check out what's in the free agent pool. I'm not sure what'll be here, but we'll see. I don't know why I went over to that. I could have just clicked on exactly where I was. Oh, man. All right, come on. Uh, oh, it's a be oh, wait a second. It's a Benajad. That would be someone I think I could pick up. It's a Benajad. Pick him up for a couple years. What kind of player types is this guy? Hopefully not another two-way forward. Uh, same as Larkin, basically. But he could be made into a playmaker with that passing and offensive awareness. Interesting. Um, so maybe him. I don't know. Uh, Schuster. Nah. I mean, there's there's all right. There's some potential here. So you guys can let me know. Um, there's a lot of defensemen. Yeah, quite a lot of quite a bit. But they're all not really what we're looking for. And then yeah, not a lot. Hmm. Not a whole lot here. But that's kind of what we expected. All right, I just want to... Oops, god damn it. Come on, let's see how about goalies. We're going to probably need a backup. So, we kind of do want to take a look at what's available here. Come on. What the hell is... Ta what the heck is going on? Oh my goodness, that took forever. Co what? Why is Corpusalo in here? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with... Columbus, you're freaking dumb. Why is someone with... I know someone was saying you should get this guy. Now it's like we almost have too many goalie prospects. If we're, if we're going to sign this guy, I don't know. You guys can let me know. But I almost feel like we have too many at this point. We're just looking for a backup. And he's list, and his role is a starter. So I don't think we'll be doing anyone favors by picking this guy up. Might as well get like Kemper or something like that. Yeah, I'd be more... I think it's better just to like pick up Kemper or something like that. And... You know, have him be a backup for a year. He wants two years, but we'll just have him a year. I don't think Corpus Sol is something we're looking at. I mean, yeah, sure, we could have him have him duel with Mrazic for the job, but I think we'll just be taking playing time away from one of them. So I don't know. I don't know. You guys can let me know. <laughs> That's funny. I did not expect to see him in there. I don't know what the hell Columbus is thinking, but apparently they want to let that guy go. All right, so that's it. I don't know what the hell is wrong with this when you change from skaters to goalie. Look how long that's taken. I've never seen that happen. All right, now we're getting out of this. All right, so 
that's it. You guys saw the free agents. You guys see what we have available. We can also think about trades. We basically don't have an entire second line, so we could kind of do... Well, we have Yurko still, and, you know, there's some stuff we could do through trading and everything like that. Um, I'll give you one more look at contracts as well so we guys can see. I don't want us to miss anything. So, f yeah, I think defensively, our defensive core will be almost getting there. We have... I don't know if we'll need to sign anyone, but... We'll see. Our right, forward wise, here's what we're looking at. We have a first line, a third line. Yurko can play second line. That's pretty much it. So we need to sign some depth guys, definitely. Um, ooh, sweet, this guy could play AHL. Some depth guys, definitely, and kind of maybe some tweener guys on the second line just to help us have a better performance. Help out Yurko. Um, because yeah, we definitely, we have a first line basically that's still getting better and then no second line. So we basically need to kind of figure out how, what we're going to do for that. Um, defensively, yeah, we need to sign some defensemen as well. So we do definitely need to sign some guys here. Um, because in the system we're still, Sergeyev, no, yeah, Sergeyev can come up. That's right. Sergeyev can come up. Sproul, I think we should keep him down AHL for another year. He's probably that's probably what he's listed as. What the hell is taking so long? Everything I feel everything clicking on everything's taking hella days. All right. Well, there we have it. So yeah, we need to sign some defensemen. Definitely sign some forwards. So we got some signing to do. Also, let me know about trades and stuff or any s you know excess assets we could trade off and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.